Hey there guys, Crossflex here, and welcome back to more Let's Play World to the West. In the last episode, we met the scrappy survivor Naus, and he got kicked out of his group for believing that they're not on the moon, and we have reason to believe that they are not on the moon. So now we're kind of roughing it in the wild, having to avoid the nasty grooves. Huh, let's see. That looks like a thing that, uh, what's her name, Lumina could use. But I assume that since I don't have a polarity cloak, I can't make use of it. Oh, I almost walked into that. There are some bones there, so that leads me to think this is pretty dangerous. Uh, let's see, I guess I've got it here. Yes, that makes sense. Climb up a tunnel. Okay. Uh. Oh, brew! Okay, going back. Okay, uh. Oh, wait a second, I can just walk around him. <laughs> Okay. I don't think there's anything down there, just a heart plant. Hmm. I don't know why that's there. Anyways. Oh, okay. I guess even big kids aren't safe from grooves. Ooh, yuck. That dynamite sure would be useful to have, but I can't swim or anything. Maybe I can come back for it later. Hmm, backtracking. Gotta love it. Alright, let's see. Let's keep heading off this way then. Okay, there's a tunnel. I'm gonna have to be quick. Run! Okay. Hey, hey. Wait. It's... Okay, cool. There is a tunnel there. I thought so. I noticed the uh, little dirt specks. Hmm. Not doing too bad. Pan, pan camera D pad. That's that's so awkward though. I I use my mouse to move, so that means I have to take my keys off the. Q, W, E, and R, which are like the other buttons that this game uses. Huh. In between episodes, I might have to rebind these controls, because that's just weird. But, uh, I'll, I'll give it a, a little bit longer just to see if I'm, you know, if it's just something that takes time. Oh, I guessed right. Oh, 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 oh. I guessed right that the shovel can at least stun the grooves, but, uh, that stun does not last very long at all. I'm going to try and put as much distance between them and me as possible. Woo! Alright, so... Lost a little bit of health, but... Nothing I can't recover from. What's this? This door is huge. Okay, so it's a door. I assume it needs maybe a key that fits in there or something? Hmm, very interesting. Ooh, okay, it's like the Tesla Tower. Torches that light up automatically. Greetings, traveler! You are very brave to have... Oh, you're the small boy. Never mind the grand gestures, then. Who are you? A very patient person, that's you. Do you know how long I've been here? A really long time? A really long time... Oh, it's, that's what you said. <laughs> anyway, behold, boy, the structure of many mysteries. Okay, that's not ominous at all. Why does it have my face on it? Hmm. And we're not going to have the question be answered to us. Hmm. Mesmerizing mercenary. Thank you for being here so early. It's never too early when there's money involved, Mr. Tycoon. Yes, exactly. That is exactly the kind of thinking that made my me my exorbitant amount of money. As you probably know. Well, time is money, I assume. So, what was it that you wanted me to retrieve? Wait, I've heard that name Tycoon. That, uh, that Rattrick guy from the last episode, he mentioned Tycoon. Ooh, I wonder. What, what if this, uh, crime boss looking guy here is the real guy in charge and he's using Rattrick to get all these orphans to do some dirty work or something? Huh, anyways. I received word from one of my assistants that one of the abandoned temples holds a mysterious artifact that appeared uh, out of place. I would like it brought to me. That can be arranged. Excellent. Oh, okay, there's a map. The temple lies to the west of here, and some traversal of the jungle will be necessary. That 3D model, though, did you guys see that? Oh, man, there it is again. What is up with that? That looks atrocious. It's... I have to mean this. This is hilarious. 
But I'm sure it's new. But I'm sure its creatures will be no match for someone of your talents. Before you go, please speak to Bartholomew, my valet. He is right outside and can provide you with details regarding an item I had intended to gift to you as a token of good faith. Ooh, interesting. So, yeah, you gotta have the brandy or the champagne or whatever it is rich people drink. So, there's a lot of artifacts around here. I want to know what this baboon thing is. It's kind of interesting to look at. It has a chess set and a globe. Very interesting. Wait, who's that portrait there? Uh, I'm probably going to spend quite a bit of time looking at portraits in areas like this. Oh, I didn't want to leave. Oh, okay, it doesn't actually send me anywhere. It just gives me a nice little view. I can pan the camera out a little bit. Huh. Well, can't really go anywhere with it, so... Um, yeah, as I was saying, I'm probably going to pay a lot of attention to details, because if this is anything like Teslagrad, then there's going to be a lot of tiny details that can easily be missed. So, I apologize if I kind of take forever to advance the plot sometimes, but yeah, that's uh, kind of my reasoning. Ah, uh, Miss Terry. Oh, <laughs> Miss Terry, okay. So her name's Mystery, that's funny. I hope you are well. I trust Mr. Tycoon has mentioned the item he was intending to give you. We were expecting an airship from Mesmer with a delivery of various items, one of which would likely be of interest. Really? It's been a while since I've seen any of my homeland's inventions. What was this item of interest? I have it on good authority that this was the finest in Mesmerian bind-bending technology. Unfortunately, the airship has been delayed. So there is no item. Not as such, no. I'm sure the winds have merely been unkind and delayed its arrival, but... But what? But should this ship have suffered some form of unfortunate incident, it might be good if you were to keep an eye out for it. If anything has happened, please let us know. Sure thing, Barty. Thank you. Huh, I'm not sure if he liked that name, Barty, too much. But, oh, I just realized her walking animation. Look at that. Terry here is so sure of herself. Oh my goodness. What is that? That's beautiful is what it is. Okay, so there's a little side room. Barty, okay. So maybe she's not the only one who calls. Wait. No, that's her in the portrait. Maybe she and Bartholomew have had past together or something? And maybe that's why she calls him Barty? Hmm. So it looks like these three have known each other for at least a good amount of time. And there's a run button. Cool. What's that portrait? It just looks like some sort of guy. Hmm, interesting. And a baboon portrait, because, you know, that's weird. You're not dressed in the traditional affluent garb, but yet I sense the faint aura of money. I suppose I will not have the cashatrons throw you out. Cashatrons? It's never too early for money. Making money. Having money. Seeing money. Smelling money. Yes, money. Uh, maybe you should take a break from money. Okay. I assume these are all important people. It just seems kind of weird for them to all have just random portraits of random people in here. Let's see. Anything interesting? I heard a rumor that the flail monks love shiny things. That could mean there is an untapped market of shiny flail monk items out there just waiting to be harvested. This warrants further investigation, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Further? Am I not right? Yes, yes, quite right. Tally-ho, what, what, good chap. It looks like I'm bringing my Alphonse voice back. I need someone to swivel this infernal contraption so that I can enjoy my daily 40 minutes of Anglorian money clinking. I simply cannot do the swiveling myself. No, well, can I swivel it for you? It doesn't look like it. Hmm, interesting. Well, they've mentioned Angloria and Mesmer. It seems that Terry here is from Mesmer, but we might be in Angloria right now. But I'm not sure on that. I'm not really sure on a lot of things yet. What? What? I'm very busy. What do you want now? I changed my mind. I don't want the purple thing. I want the red thing. What? What red thing? Apples? Tomatoes? Steak? Chili peppers. It's not my job to know what these things are called. I want the red thing that crunches. That crunches. So, apples, right? You want apples. Yes, probably. Five of them. Or wait, maybe seven. I am quite peckish. Alright, seven apples it is. 
Now please get out of my kitchen. Gotta love that trope of rich people not knowing anything. Oh, and that one guy earlier, he mentioned flail monks, didn't he? I bet that's what these enemies are called. Alright, so there's a poster of Mesmer there. Is that a roller coaster? It kind of looks like a roller coaster, but I can't quite read it. What do you have to say? These rich people are very aggravating to work with. And I do wish they'd learn the names of things. Hmm. Baguette de Mesmer. So, I guess Mesmer is based on France? Whereas Electropia from Teslagrad was based on Russia? I mean, I'm sure there's elements of other countries in Europe thrown into all of these regions, but it seems like that's kind of the biggest. Ooh, so portrait room. Let's see, that's... That kind of looks like the Tesla Tower, doesn't it? Yeah, and there's the king from the Electropia. He has a sword and a grue. Nice. Anything else? Oh, there's that portrait of the kid again. So it seems this uh, crime boss looking guy, Tycoon I think his name was, he, uh, he seems to have quite a portrait collection. Uh, Alright, I I'm going to try and get on with the episode. I'm not making much progress here and I'm taking up too much of your guys' time. Alright, ooh, a town. Darn, I really want to talk to everyone, but at the same time I do kind of want to make some progress. So, we access the map with tab. So, we leave out to the left. Yeah, makes sense, right? Okay, so we need to head up there to that temple. Okay, but yeah, first I'm gonna try and explore the town really quickly if I can. Uh, pig? Why pig? Oh well. A lot of stuff doesn't make sense to me. Hello. Going out adventuring again, eh? Probably smart to get out bright and early. When it's dark, the grooves can be really hard to see. Ooh, I wonder if there's a time mechanic to this game then, like, will, does time pass, and if so, is there a day and night time area of each game? Or not each game, but each, like, screen. Hmm. Alright, what's over here? My watermelons! This is terrible, this is awful, what a disaster. Hmm. Carte blanche. Well, there's a lot of watermelons in the way. I don't think I can get past, can I? How about over here? Hmm. Darn. I wish I could have climbed across that rope. That would have been cool. And I wish I could jump. That way I could get up onto that roof. Maybe there's another character who can jump later. Alright, let's see. Can I go in here? I can't go in here. Hmm. Is this a shop? I guess it's a shop, maybe. Ah, oh, good day, Miss Terry. How was your meeting? Fine, fine. Just another rich guy with bad hair who can't solve his own problems. It won't take me long. Anything else? Ah, she's just gonna say the same thing. Okay. No, no, go away, please. Thank you. Alright, so, I don't know why, but I'm getting a very Laura Croft vibe from Terry here. So I think I'm gonna give her a really bad English accent to try and, uh, help her stand out from everyone else. Or, just, no time for rest. So I guess this is her hideout. Wait, what's that portrait? Ugh, it's so hard to see from this angle. What's in here? Anything else? No? Okay. I guess not. Hmm. So a band. That looks like that receptionist chick. Okay, yeah, and there's that yellow haired lady. Can I not go down right now? Oh, I guess I can't. I guess the door's shut. Okay. Well, that's it for now then. Back to the town. Alright. What do you have to say? Nothing. Brilliant. Ooh, good morning. Oh, hello, there's another one of those things over here. Ooh, I saw that too. A graffiti sign of Electropia. Very interesting. Alright, can I go through here? I guess not. R. Hello, Miss Terry. Thank you again for your help with the flail monks the other day. I don't know how I would have gotten my things back from them if it wasn't for your help. So I guess Miss Terry around here just does everything for everyone for money, hence the mercenary title. Mysterious airship crashes from the sky into the jungle, scares local inhabitants, and at least two flail monks. Extra, extra, read all about it. All members of the affluent society individually claim that they own the cargo, but not the airship. Of course they would. Leave it to people like that. Alright. Did you hear? The Baron Catband are in town. No, I didn't hear that. 
I figured that I'd learn some good business secrets from the standing outside the affluent society. But yesterday, all I heard was two of the members saying, Indeed, and quite so, back and forth for two hours. Is that some sort of code? More or less, it's kind of a thieves' cant. You pick it up over time. Alright, well, I think that was about everything in town, so let's go ahead and head on out. Wait, the sign says Carte Blanche again. Maybe that's the name of the city? Carte Blanche? Good day, Miss Terry. Oh, Ooh, scarf. Stunless creatures. Okay, so she attacks with her scarf. Do -do 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 Darn, I guess there's no random encounters. That'd be hilarious though, wouldn't it be? <laughs> Whip it. Whip it good. Ow. That's a wrap, folks. Sorry, I had to make that pun. Forgive me. Alright, so that looks like a tunnel that Mouse can climb through, and there's another thing for Lumina. So yeah, it definitely seems like eventually maybe we'll be able to have control of all four characters, and maybe we'll be able to swap between them, or something along those lines. Oh, hmm, interesting. There's a lot of stuff around here. Definitely a lot of ruins. Looks like keys and puzzles and chains. Huh, I don't really see anything I can do around here, so... I guess I gotta head to the left. Oh, hello. Give me that. Give me that. Okay, so I got the key. Okay, and the key goes here, I see. Anything down here first, though? I don't want to miss anything. Hmm. I don't know what that block is for, but I guess I'll find out later. Also, I just realized that I did not set a timer for this episode either. Um, I don't know if there's gonna be a cutscene or anything past there, so I don't really want to take that chance. So uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, remember to have a blessed day, and until next time, I will see you later.